Now if you want to do the EBSD, choose the voltage 20 kV. It will be better if you can use the uh, LED detector. We're going to change this later. So now the working distance is still 4 mm, but the optimized working distance for EBSD is 13 mm. So now we're using the LED. I find the feature. To do the initial focus. It's too noise. Okay, now we need to change the working distance to 13. It's the presetting is only 10 or 15, so we first we go back to the 10, and then we change the uh, readings manually to 13. And the working distance changed, but the Z does not change, so we need to change it manually again. And this is administrator mode. So if you, we go back to the user mode, I have already a preset 30 millimeters in the in the WD snackchains. Make sure when you change the Z, put the offsets in mind. So now the Z is 13.4 and the W13. Okay. Change, um, find the feature and do the final focus. It's currently the probe current is 8, it's not quite big, it's not good for the EBSD. So, when you finish this kind of focus, we can change the probe current to 16. The reason why I didn't change it now because I don't want um, the beam to damage my sample. Take an image before you choose your stage. It's kind of a reference image. We're going to use it later. It's the, when you choose the stage, the feature will be moved miles away, so you don't know where is it is. So we need to take this image as a reference. The bigger, the better. So find the most a significant feature you want to track when you choose your sample. And as you can see, there is only dynamic focus, so we don't have the tilt correction in this SEM machine, which is really, really annoying. So now I want to move the dust to the center and change the um, beam current, probe current to large. I normally use 16, but currency is 15, it doesn't matter, we can change this later on. So whenever you change the beam current or probe current uh, KV, you need to refocus, realignment, but quite quick. Okay, we need to change the readings to 16. Now you can see it's been the brightness is much higher. It means that you got more electrons. So the alignment wobbling again. and take this image again. So now you're going to use this as a reference image when you choose the sample.
Say right. Now we are going to find the images we taken before reference images. I don't know where is it. Okay, just try to find the um, image path. Oh, say images. Okay, so open it. Okay, that's the image we taken before. So we need to rearrange the layout. Switch on the camera. So you know how the stage is going to be tilted. It's quite scary. Right. So we first we're going to 10 degrees. We're going to 30 degrees. Just keep an eye on the stage. So you know the feature has been tilted to the upper area. So now you need to use the control panel stage to move this back. Okay, you can drag the camera down the you know the image. So you know you can compare. So now we move the stage to the uh, we move the feature to the center. Just make sure you also keep an eye on the stage. So make sure when you choose the sample stage, you didn't touch the pole piece. Again, it's been moved miles away. So you can use the Z, you only use the Z to focus the sample. Don't use working distance to focus the sample. For example, you don't rotate the focus knob, only use the Z movement to adjust the focus, otherwise you will change the working distance. And um, we took before the working the optimized work distance is 13 millimeters. So we don't want to mess around the working distance in the end. Okay, the next step is to 70 degrees. So we need to move to from 50 to 60. Don't move directly from 50 to 70. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, now we got the feature. But that's not our final feature, you know, we need to find the actually this one. That's the feature we want to find. Okay, so now if you choose your 70 degrees, lock the stage. Now it's a bit tricky thing we need to do the dynamic focus. So you know the upper area and the center area is not exactly focused. So we need to do it separately. I never used this feature before. So just repeating center focus, upper focus until you are happy with your image focus. So now you can see them uh actually especially in the bottom area is not focused very well so we need to repeat this process for several times until the entire image has been focused Again, there's no tears correction in this SEM software, but we can do it in the EBSD software as a tag. So don't worry about the uh, EBSD images. If you need to take SEM images in the tilted position, I'm sorry, this is the image you are going to get. 
Oh, another thing is also you can use the Aztec to obtain the SCM image. Yes, there is another way. Okay. Right, probably this would be the best image I can get. You can play this around for ages if you want. Okay, just double check the camera. And now we need to move to the, you know, the interesting feature not the interesting feature it's like the position feature so we know there is going to be two holes yeah we we find this image that's the two holes just bear in mind because this image the y direction has been reduced has been compressed so the the morphology of these two holes may be a bit different compared to the, you know, when your sample is in a horizontal, uh, in the horizontal way. Or I think I found it. Yeah, that's the two holes in the sample. Okay, to the final focus. and then move these two holes in the center using the stage movement control panel okay now take the image before you insert your EBSD detector And now we have set up the sample in uh, optimized EBSD position. So now you can see the work distance is 13, but the Z is 15.6 because, you know, we use the Z several times to focus the sample instead of the WD. Let's save it. OK, 